Hi everyone. Today I am recommending a book by one of my sweetest friends, Tosca Lee. Uh, and this is a book that is futuristic and exciting and thrilling. So what I'd like to do is read to you just a little bit of the first chapter. It's called A Single Light, uh, and it is the second book in the Line Between series. These books are incredible, and Tosca Lee never fails to deliver a great book. So I'm going to begin. The name of the chapter is Day 14. I miss ice cream. The way it melts into a soupy mess if you draw out the enjoyment of eating it too long. That it has to be savored in a rush. I miss the internet, my cell phone, and Netflix. I was halfway through the first season of Stranger Things when the lights went out. I miss the sky, the feel of wind, even when it carries the perfume of a neighboring pasture, the smell of coming rain. But even fresh air is a small price to pay to be sane and alive, to be with the people you love. The ones who are left, anyway. My five-year-old niece, Truly. My mom's former best friend, Julie and her 16-year-old daughter, Lauren, and Chase, my, what, boyfriend? Who has made it his mission to keep me safe since we met three weeks ago. We're five of the lucky 63 who have taken shelter from the flu-born pandemic in an underground silo west of Gurley, Nebraska. I used to hate that word, lucky, but there's no better way to describe the fortune of food and water, amenities like heat, clothing, and a bed, not to mention an infirmary, gymnasium, library, garden, laying hens, and the company of uninfected others, all safe and living in relative comfort due to the foresight of a doomsday prepper named Noah who thought of everything, including the pixelated walls and ceiling of the upper lounge aglow with virtual meadowscape of billowing grasses and lazy bees beneath an artificial sky. Wow. That book just drew me in from the beginning and I had to find out more about what, what had happened why they were underground, how they were surviving, what the future held for them. I know you are going to want to read this book again. It's by Tosca Lee and it's called A Single Light.